hi friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another comfort food for the entire family yes i'm filming my intro and outro in my car because i forgot to film it and i want to make sure that i can get this video uploaded quickly for you guys so welcome to another comfort food for the entire family this dinner was so incredibly good so good it's a hamburger helper knockoff but it is healthy and it is delicious and it tastes in my opinion a million times better than hamburger helper so if you want to see tonight's comfort food for the entire family definitely family friendly all you have to do is stay tuned For tonight's comfort food recipe, we are going to be making a recipe called Hamburger Buddy. So basically it is similar to a goulash. So let me show you what is gonna be in tonight's recipe. But first, there's water. I just don't have that shown here. So add water to the list. You're also going to need some flour, minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, You'll need some pasta. I'm going to be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Elbows. As you know, I love this pasta. You can have two ounces for only three smart points versus traditional pasta that is five to six smart points for two ounces. So I love it. It's the only pasta that I use. If you're interested in purchasing it, down in the description box is a link to Netrition. Click the link and it'll pop you right over to this product amongst other amazing products that are WW friendly on their website. So we'll be doing fiber gourmet pasta. I have some 96.4 extra lean ground beef, julienne carrots, an onion, fat free sour cream, beef broth. We're gonna need some thyme and lastly some sliced mushrooms. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing you want to do is chop up your mushrooms and onions into small pieces. If you don't use julienne carrots, you're going to want to cut those your carrots into small pieces as well. The recipe suggests using a food processor, but I just chopped mine into small pieces. So I have carrots on the bottom, mushrooms, and then onions. And then next, you're going to want to get your meat going. So you're going to want a rather large pot because this entire recipe is cooked in one pot. That makes it even better. So we're going to get our hamburger browning and then we'll be ready to add in our veggies and some spices. Once your hamburger is completely browned, we are going to add in our veggies. So we've got our carrots, our mushrooms, and our onions. And then we're going to add just a huge heaping scoop of minced garlic. And then we are going to be adding in our spices. So first we're going to go ahead and add in some thyme which I love the Trader Joe's. And then we're gonna do some pepper and some salt. And we're just gonna give this a nice big stir. And we're gonna let those veggies start to soften, cook down quite a bit before we continue on. While your meat is cooking, you're gonna take two tablespoons of flour, one quarter cup of the beef broth. The rest we're gonna add directly to our veggies. Grab a fork and we just wanna combine this. This is going to be our thickening agent that we're gonna put in at the very end. But you can go ahead and prepare in ahead of time and then just set it aside. Once your veggies get nice and cooked up, we're gonna be adding in two cups of water. We're also going to add in the rest of our can of beef broth after I removed that quarter cup for the flour mixture. And then we're also going to add in some Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going to kind of wing it. We're going to let this come to a boil and then we're going to go ahead and add in our pasta. So this is so nice that everything just cooks down in one pan. So as soon as this comes to a boil, we will add in our pasta. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to go ahead and add in our fiber gourmet pasta and then we're going to give it in a quick stir and then we're going to pop the lid on. Actually, first we're going to reduce our heat. Then we're going to pop the lid on and we're going to let this cook eight to 10 minutes until our pasta is cooked through. This is looking so good. Once your pasta is cooked through, we are going to go ahead and add in that flour and beef broth mixture that we made. And we're going to let this cook down and help thicken that little bit of liquid that's left. And then the last step is to add in our sour cream. 
And the last step is we're gonna add in one half of a cup of sour cream. Now the recipe called for light sour cream. I ended up using fat free. That was all that I had on hand. So my points are count are accumulated with fat free. So I'm going to give you the smart points. Just make sure if you end up using a light sour cream or whatever variations you make on the recipe that you recalculate the points. So there is our completed dinner, you guys. This smells amazing. It looks delicious. You can see here that I've transferred it to a bowl and I've put it onto my food scale. Sorry, got a little glare from my skylight. So it is a total of 2,060 grams. So the best way to measure out servings from a large recipe is to take the number of grams and divide that by the number of servings. So this recipe, you can either divide into four servings or six servings. We're gonna go ahead and divide this into six to start, I may end up doing it into four. So I'm basically going to take the 2060, well, 2060 and divide it by four, and that's the number of grams that I'm gonna remove out of my bowl, and that is a serving. So I've removed one sixth of the hamburger buddy. So this is the one sixth amount, and this is a full size bowl. So in my opinion, that's plenty. So I'm gonna finish getting this ready to go. My veggies are in the microwave, and I'll be back to show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here is tonight's dinner, you guys. This is comfort food at its finest. Pasta with ground beef and it's creamy with that sour cream. I tasted it and it is so good. Definite must make recipe. So again, this is one sixth of the recipe in this bowl and I'm just pairing that with some of the bird's eye mixed vegetables. So one sixth of this recipe is only four smart points. That's it for this entire bowl. Now you do have the option to convert it into four servings and I will put the points here on the screen if you decide to divide this out into one fourth, which is a lot because I've done mine in my husband's bowl and there's still that much left. So imagine taking all of that and dividing it by four. That would be a lot of food. But this is tonight's comfort food for the family. Definitely, definitely a crowd pleaser. Thank you for joining me on another comfort food for the entire family. I hope you enjoyed seeing the hamburger buddy recipe. It is so incredibly good, you guys. You will not be sorry making this recipe. Adults, kids, perfect, perfect comfort food for the entire family. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Make sure that you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the hamburger buddy recipe and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.